Hello there guys and welcome to Student Meals. Today I'll be making a Russian classic called Sirniki, also known as cottage cheese pancakes. I hope that you enjoy this episode. So the ingredients are 60 grams of flour. I'm going to use self-rising flour. You can use regular flour, it doesn't really matter. About 30 grams of sugar, one egg, a pinch of salt and 200 grams of cottage cheese. I'll be using this cheese, but you can use uh, ricotta cheese or just quark. Ideally, you should use a Russian cheese for this recipe. But since I don't have the typical Russian cottage like cheese, I'm just going to use a packet that I bought in store so let's get started let's take a bowl and put our cheese in there and then just add the rest of the ingredients the egg the flour sugar and finally our pinch of salt and now just mix everything up with a spoon until you get something like this and now let's start frying take a large pan put it on a fire add some olive oil or if you have some neutral oil lying around, use that and let it get hot. Once the oil is hot, reduce the fire to medium heat and let's start frying. So just take a spoonful of the mixture and place it in your pan. Press it down a little and just continue the process for the rest of them. There we go. And now let them fry until they're golden brown on one side. Flip them around and fry them until they're done. And there you go, they're done. So it's time for a taste test. Here I have two kinds of sirniki. These ones I made with cottage cheese and just to try it out, I made these ones with ricotta cheese. I'm just going to show you the consistency. So you have the ricotta cheese ones, as you break them, as you can see, they are quite, quite dense and you don't see any chunks. Mmm, love these. And they still taste just like the real deal, just a bit sweeter because the ricotta cheese has that little sweetness to it, not much. Uh, but then you have the cottage cheese ones, I'm just going to break these. As you can see they are a bit more stringy and not so dense. And I don't know if you can see it here. As you can see there are still some chunks of cheese left. And this effect you get with the Russian recipe. So in a way these are a bit more closer to the original Russian recipe. I'm just going to taste these again. Cottage cheese ones. Mmm, yummy. Really can't get enough of them. But as I said before, if you can't get your hands on cottage cheese or on real Russian cheese, just use ricotta cheese. They're perfectly fine. Just a little difference and it's more of a difference in a personal taste. So that being said, they are both really delicious and you should really, really try them. Mmm. And as always, see you in the next one. Goodbye.